Yeah. You know how I feel. I'm in love with you still. Yeah. It helps. But it so, welcome back, friends. We're going to do a pick a card, and it's going to be Are You Happy and Complete? Okay. And um, if you're not, or, or whatever little bit that isn't, uh, we'll use the cards to try and figure out, um, you know, what is it that's making you unhappy or, you know, well, yeah, what is this keeping you from happiness or f completing your current cycle? Okay. Excuse my hands. If y'all, as y'all can see, they look horrible. I uh, dyed my daughter's hair for her. She likes her hair black, black. And I, I got dyed everywhere. The gloves busted. Mm. Oh, well, so for the next couple of days, I'm going to be looking like an ink pen exploded in my hand. So just so y'all know. Okay, we're going to be using the Adventure Time um, Fiona and Cake deck for the yes, no portion. And we're going to be using uh, Spellcaster's Tarot, um, you know, for the little bit deeper explanation. Okay, so let me fix this up a little bit. Here we go. Move this to the side. We're going to be using uh, my daughter Zion's oracle cards for the groups again. So let's get started here. Group one is going to be Waterfall. I couldn't get it out. Sorry, y'all. Group two is going to be Wolf Cakes. Group three is going to be Sisters. And group four is going to be Fire versus Water. Okay, so your choices are waterfall, wolf cakes, sisters, or fire versus water. All right, okay, and I'm gonna pick these up so they're in order. So, when it's time to read, I have them, and we're gonna start off with the waterfall crew. I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to have to do it like that. But y'all y'all know what it's saying. Alright. So, Waterfall Group. Hello, hello. Let's find out right now in life. And this is specifically for right in this moment of time. Whenever it is that you're watching this. Exactly in this moment of time. Okay. Are you feeling happy and complete? Alright, let's go. One two three oh there's an ace one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you having some sort of problems i see already one two three four okay so um, okay, we have two aces, and then the two cards that didn't turn out to be aces, one of them is the Nine of Cups, which is Wish Fulfillment, and the second one is the Knight of Swords, which is like the Spy card. I feel like right now you're not happy or you don't feel complete because... Instead of chasing your own dreams right now, you're watching everyone else's um, success. And it's funny that the card that you have is Waterfalls because, uh, and I hate this song, but it immediately makes me think about the Waterfalls song, you know. Don't, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Okay, so at any rate, it kind of feels like 
you're not happy because you're not chasing your waterfalls. You're not going out and doing what would truly make you happy. And you're just busy watching other people chase their own waterfalls, okay? So, let's pull three tarot to see what can you do to make yourself feel more happy and complete. All right. All right, this is a simple formula. You need to take some time out alone. And um, you need to think things through and try to see them from a different perspective than what you've been looking at, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords card is a plotting card or a theft card. What it's saying is, is instead of you taking all your time to watch other people's ideas and steal them, you need to change your perspective. That's This is not what you want to be looking at is what this card is telling you, okay? And then you want to make it all come together and celebrate your new ideas, okay? So basically all it's going to take is, is a little bit of time, a little bit of self-reflection. Stop watching what everyone else is doing. That's why you have the uh, hanged man card, okay? You need to stop watching everyone else, okay? And you need to set your sights on yourself, okay? When you come up with your new plans move forward okay and things should be perfect it should be celebration time okay so i hope you enjoyed that reading waterfall group if you did please feel free to give me a thumbs up and also feel free to comment down below good and or bad it's, it's all uh constructive to me and uh let's move into group two which is going to be wolf cakes um i know i should have did waterfalls at first while I was um explained it while I was shuffling but I didn't but I'm gonna do it for y'all so when I see uh Zion's wolf cakes cards it makes me think like a wolf in sheep's clothing I think um there's something in your life right now that you think you want and it looks like it's sweet and all that but I think it's actually on the prowl either that or it's really devouring your happiness okay kind of like an energy vampire all right so <clears throat> but you know it could say that you are feeling happy and complete I don't know let's see all right are you guys ready all right one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's one ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. So generally, in general, you are feeling very happy and complete. The one area that I see that may be causing an issue for you has to do with a king of swords. He's the type of guy that's pretty cold and different, you know. And if you take a look at this card, see if I can get it to. You can see she's with Marshall Lee, right? But you see how he's got he has his back turned to her. This is who she really wants to be with. All jokes aside, she wants to be with the bubblegum prince, okay? And he's just not paying her any mind. This is how you get your wolf cakes card. I believe that you think that this man is sweet and you, you want to be with him, you know. And he, he, you know, he's going to fulfill you, but I don't think he is. But let's see. What can the wolf cakes group do? To make themselves feel more happy and complete. Yeah. You got to let your idea of this person just die. Just let it fall down. It's not good for you. But there will be new choices. Or there already are like a, a plethora of choices. Okay. And we have the hangman once again. You just need to change your perspective. You just need to open up your eyes and see all the choices that you actually have around you that are really good. Okay? Because this one that you're focusing on is not for you. Okay? Whether it's a person or a thing. And, you know, because it could be a thing. Um, you know, it could be like something, uh, 
business wise, you know, with a, a bigger uh, impersonal corporation. It's either that or it's uh, um, a man. And uh, the king of swords would be Gemini, Libra, or Aqu Aquarius men. Um, and those men tend to be known to be uh, pretty detached. Emotionally detached. Um, Libra not so much because they're actually ruled by Venus. But they definitely have their moments. And then they're like the rest of air sign men. Okay. So Wolf Cakes group. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And let's move into the sisters group. I wonder what this reading is going to be about. Um, I don't know. Either you have the love of your sisters and it's making you feel so very happy and complete. Or possibly there's some issues going on with you and a friend or you. It could be a mother figure as well. You and a mother figure or you and a sister. Okay. Best friend. You know. Something like that. Alright. Alright. Y'all ready to do it? All right, let's see. Are you happy and feeling complete? Right now, at this moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Sorry, guys. Ten, eleven. 13 okay so I have this kind of like sometimes you are so, sometimes I think you feel so very happy and complete in this life and I think that's because of your sister circle you know or your feminine circle with like I said whether it's actual siblings friends mother figures uh, people that you mentor or your mentor sometimes this street of cup sis sometimes you all are celebrating together and you are just enjoying the sisterhood okay um but this card over here um can you please be quiet i'm doing a video thank you i'm sorry guys my my daughter does this sometimes but um the seven of pentacles uh is definitely like you want it to be bigger you want it to grow bigger um maybe you feel like someone should be included in this circle and they're not i kind of get that from it too but i kind of feel like uh it's like you're watering the situation, okay? You're watering the sisterhood, but you're not seeing the results that you want from it just yet, okay? So, let's do three tarot cards quickly and see what can you do right now to make yourself feel more happy and complete. Could you please turn that down? Thank you. One okay here's the problem there's someone in your sisterhood circle that's killing the vibe and it's going to take for you to cut this person out of the circle uh the person that's killing the vibe is a uh, very defensive selfish uh could be a liar and or a thief Okay, and that is what is um, strangling the growth of your sisterhood. Okay, so whoever that person is, the cards are just saying you just need to get rid of them. You just need to stand firm and say, hey, you know, your dynamic is, you know, really killing ours. And, you know, either you get it together or you need to leave until you get yourself together, you get your energy together. And then you could come back with us, you know, then. But for right now, you know, you're killing the vibe. You just, I don't know how you're going to say it. But basically, that's like what you're trying to get across to this person, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this reading sister, um, sister group. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And feel free to comment down below 
good and or bad. And let's get ready to move into our last group, which is the fire versus water group. Now, I feel like just by looking at the card, but I guess we'll find out once we start reading. I feel like this group has an issue between do you want to end things like burning and consuming them up? You know, or do you want to feed them by giving them water? Or could just be, you know, opposing viewpoints. Who knows? All right, let's see. Let's find out. The cards know. I say who knows. The cards know. Okay, so let's find out. Are you happy and feeling complete right now at this very moment in time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 13. Okay, so you are pretty much um, almost always right now at this moment, you are feeling pretty complete complete and happy okay so now i'm left to say that the fire versus water just tells me that you're pretty balanced okay you know it's like um when things get too hot you have the water that's needed to cool them off you know if things get too wet you have the heat needed to dry it out okay there's only one issue that probably needs to be addressed and that will be this six of swords energy there is something um that was hurtful or negative to you that you haven't fully pulled away from okay um now let's see if we can identify what needs to be pulled away from and how to pull away from it quickly with three cards okay can you do both of those in it okay all right let's see okay there's a relationship that fell apart And I'm not sure if it's a lot of communication right now or if it was a lot of communication when it fell apart. Let me clarify that real quick. Please clarify the Eight of Wands. Okay. I think it ended quickly. I believe you found yourself in a position of saying, I'm not fooling with this mess. And what can, what can they do? I think it's that you need to open up some quick communication with someone else. But let's see. What can they do to get past this to be more happy? Yeah. There's something that you really want to do. And you need to move forward to it. Um, it also says that, it, you know, you, it, it's causing you some nightmares not to fulfill um you know, things that you want to. And you need to be loving again. That, and that's basically what it is. You need to get out there. You need to communicate um, more. Uh, you need to uh, get out and maybe go out on some dates. You know, and stop allowing yourself to feel so uh, caged in. And, you know, like, just pessimistic. It's not needed, okay? It's time for you to move past these things. And to become, um, you know, a full woman in the sense of not hiding yourself because you're worried about being hurt okay fire and water are both needed all right so and you know that because in the rest of your life you balance that very well okay you need to figure out a way to balance it in your romantic life as well all right so fire versus water group i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please give me a thumbs up and also feel free to comment down below good and or bad and I guess this is going to be the end of our video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.